Hi, I'm Louise Fletcher and I help artists to find their own unique creative voice. Today I want to talk about inspiration. How do you get inspired for your next work? I actually have three, and notice I have actually been painting, I have three ways that I do this. So the first way is that I play. What does that mean? That means I mess about in sketchbooks and on cheap bits of paper. It means I try materials I haven't worked with before. It means I do some kind of art perhaps that I haven't done before. I might go back to realistic drawing for a little while. I might just make a series of marks on a page for a day. I might make collage papers. I might just draw in a sketchbook. I might just paint absolute nonsense paintings that I don't intend for anyone else to see. But all I'm doing, I might try new tools. All I'm doing is looking for ways to shake things up and to generate new ideas. So that is number one, I play. And that applies whether you work realistically or abstractly. So you realistic painters out there can't tell me, oh no, no, that doesn't work for me, I have to be serious. No, you don't. You can, let's say you paint florals, paint them in a completely different medium or use completely different tools. Use a giant brush use a spatula, use a trowel, use something that makes it impossible to do it the way you normally do and see what ideas shake out from that. Number two, I look at my past work. Usually the clues of what I want to do next are in something that happened at the end of the prior set of work. Usually there are a few outlier paintings that are pointing me the way forward. At the end of my last series of landscapes, for example, I had several paintings that just were completely different. I did actually show them with the landscapes, they did sell, and I was pleased that they sold because they felt really exciting to me, but I knew they were different from what I'd been doing before. But that excitement, that's the thing that carries you to the next stage. So it might be a whole painting, it might be a few paintings, it might just be one part of a painting where you did something different and you loved what happened. You might have used really fluid glazed paint in one area and that might be the clue that the next thing for you is to experiment with, with fluid thin paint. Or you may have sanded back an area in one painting and you've never done that before but you really like the effect so you want to really experiment with that next. There will be a clue somewhere in something that you did before. So go back through old sketchbooks, look at photos on your phone of paintings that you've done. Sometimes it can be something in progress, but the answer is often there. And finally, what I sometimes do, if I feel I can handle it, and you have to know yourself for this, is I look outside myself at other artists' work for inspiration. Now, the reason I say you've got to be careful that you can handle it is you don't want to get demoralized by looking at a bunch of brilliant works and thinking, I'll never do that. And you don't want to get dragged into copying because that won't get you anywhere unless it's for a practice piece. But the way I do it is to look at the artwork that is speaking to me at that time and it changes. It's changed over the years and it will continue to change, I'm sure. But what's appealing to me right now and then why? What specifically is it that I like? Is it the simplicity of the composition? Is it the raw nature of the marks? Is it the colours that are being used? Is it some combination of all of these things? And when I can pinpoint what it is, I see the thread running through other things that appeal to me as well. And I can bring that back in and say, okay, it's the rawness of the marks. So how can I experiment? As you can see by this big black cross behind me, this was one of my experiments. How can I experiment with getting that rawness and energy into my own work? What tools might I use? Or if it's the color, okay, I love the fact the way they always set blue against yellow and it gives this certain feeling. Right, get all your blues and all your yellows out and start experimenting with that. The key thing, I think, for finding inspiration is to not try and jump from I have no inspiration to I'm making paintings now. You have to go from I have no inspiration into gathering mode, 
look for the inspiration, bring it in through all the three ways that I've just described. And then from there, ideas will start to come and they will be your ideas born out of your play and experimentation. And that is the best kind of idea because it's the one that's the most fun to do, that feeds you creatively, that gets you to the studio regularly and that results in exciting work. So quick fire, those are my three ways to get inspired. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you download the free guide, which is linked below this video to how to find your style. Really five really important tips on making unique artwork. And do subscribe and hit the bell if you wanna keep hearing from me. That's it from me, I'll see you again soon. Bye.